Kabul. Well, joining me now from the United Nations in New York is Zahir Tanin. He's the Afghan ambassador uh, to the UN. President Obama has, in a sense, set a deadline for the Afghan government, hasn't he? He said, you've got 18 months to sort yourself out. That's how long I'm going to support you. Are you going to be able to achieve that? Uh, I don't think uh, uh, he has explic explicitly put it in a way that you have to take the whole responsibility in 18 months. Uh, but uh, I think uh, uh, we are aware of the fact that uh, uh, the, the process to, for uh, gradual uh, transfer of responsibility to Afghans, especially uh, on dealing with the security, has started. Uh, President Karzai, in his inauguration ceremony, made it clear that Afghans are ready to take uh, the responsibility of the security of their country uh, uh, as soon as possible. And, and uh, uh, during next five years, uh, we would like to, uh, uh, to, to deal with the, the defense and security of the country. So you're saying you need uh, five years? Uh, is that, without is that the help right? of... Sorry? You're saying you need five years to sort out your security forces? Uh, I think uh, in, a, uh, in a realistic way that, uh, that the transfer of uh, uh, security responsibility will take some time. Uh, it, may, it may take some uh, three to five years' time uh, uh, before moving towards more stabilization efforts. Because that's a bit of a discrepancy, isn't it? I mean, uh, uh, President Obama is saying, by July 2011, I want to start moving out of Afghanistan. You're saying it could take three to five years before our security forces are in a position uh, to, to take over. I mean, there's a, there's a big discrepancy between those two figures. I don't see such a discrepancy. Uh, President Obama is talking about uh, the beginning of the uh, re re reduction of forces uh, uh, from July 2011. He is not uh, giving any fixed date for any exit strategy. He was talking also about, uh, uh, about uh, the beginning of transfer of responsibility, uh, especially on security issues, to Afghans uh, uh, in, in, from, uh, in, in tier three years' time. Uh, President Karzai was talking also about, uh, about readiness of the Afghan government in the, in the period ahead that may take... Uh, I don't see such discrepancies. Let's touch on another issue, which is um, corruption in the Afghan government. This is a major concern uh, to Washington. Hillary Clinton reiterated uh, that today. What reassurances can you give American families who are sending their sons and daughters off to lay down their lives for, for your country? How can you reassure them that they're not fighting for a corrupt regime? Uh, I think uh, uh, the, the struggle in Afghanistan for uh, uh, establishing a secure Afghanistan, a better governance, and uh, stability is a, a struggle that we do it together. Uh, as this new strategy is also indicating, and President Obama has committed himself, that in all, in all these areas, uh, transfer of, uh, uh, of responsibility of security to Afghans, fight against corruption, establishing of, the, of a better governance, work together. On corruption, I think uh, uh, we have to fight together. The Afghan government is ready. President Karzai, in his integration ceremony, committed himself to, uh, to, to put a uh, fight against corruption in the center of his activities. Uh, the international community is overseeing 80 percent of the uh, of the international aid to Afghanistan. They are so accountable, 80 percent for the shared fight against corruption together with us. So let's do it together. Mr. Tanin, thank you very much.